गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ इंटीजर्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो द लर्नर विल बी एबल टू नो अबाउट क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इंटीजर्स कॉमोटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इंटीजर्स एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ जीरो प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वन एंड एडिटिव इनवर्स क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी अंडर एडिशन एज वी नो सम ऑफ टू होल नंबर इज अगेन अ होल नंबर दिस इज क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी फॉर एडिशन ऑफ द होल नंबर लेट एस सी वेदर दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज ट्रू फॉर इंटीजर और नॉट इफ ए एंड बी आर एनी टू इंटीजर्स देन ए प्लस बी विल ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू सी सो वी विल सी by example now we will take two integers minus 2 and plus 5 when we solve it we will get 3 now 3 is again an integer so sum of two integers is always an integer so we say that integers are closed under addition closure property under subtraction what happens when we subtract an integer from another integer let us see if a and b are any two integers then a minus b is equal to c let us see example now here minus 4 and 3 are integer if we subtract 3 from minus 4 we will get minus 7 and minus 7 is an integer so we say that integers are closed under subtraction commutative property of addition the sum of two integers remain the same even if we change their orders if a and b are any two integers then a plus b is equal to b plus a let us see an example now here 3 and minus 7 both are integers when we solve 3 plus minus 7 we will get minus 4 then again if we will solve minus 7 plus 3 we will get minus 4 now both answers are same minus 4 is equal to minus 4 so this property is known as the commutative property of addition of integers commutative property of subtraction while subtracting integers if the order is changed the result will also be changed if a and b are two integers then a plus b is not equal to b plus a let us see example if we subtract 4 from 3 we will get minus 1 but if we subtract 3 from 4 we will get 1 now we will see here minus 1 is not equal to 1 so we can say thus commutative property does not hold true for the subtraction of integers associative property of addition the sum of three integers remains the same even if we change their grouping if a b and c are any three integers then a plus bracket b plus c bracket closed is equal to bracket open a plus b bracket closed plus c now we will see example here minus 3 4 and 6 are integers minus 3 plus 4 plus 6 now we will solve it first we will solve the bracket according to the board mass rule so 4 plus 6 is 10 so minus 3 plus 10 is equal to 7 as we know minus plus is minus and the sign of bigger term again minus 
plus 4 plus 6. We will solve the bracket first. Minus 3 plus 4 come out to be 1. And 1 plus 6 is 7. Here both are same. So this property is known as associative property of integer of addition. Associative property of subtraction. While subtracting integers, when the grouping of integers is changed, the result will also be changed. If A, B and C are any three integers, then A minus B minus C is not equal to A minus B minus C. For example, 3 minus bracket 4 minus 6 bracket closed. Now first we will solve the bracket. Here 4 minus 6 will come out to be minus 2. So it comes 3 minus minus 2. Then minus minus will become plus. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now 3 minus 4 minus 6. First we solve the bracket. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 6 come out to be minus 7. Here minus 7 is not equal to 5. Thus associative property does not hold true for the subtraction of integers. Property of 0. Additive identity. When 0 is added to any integer, the value of the integer remains the same. If a is an integer, then a plus 0 is equal to a. Let us see example. If 0 is added to minus 2, the answer will come out to be minus 2, the same integer. So this property is, the property of 0 is also known as the additive identity. Property of 0 of subtraction. When we subtract 0 from an integer, we get the same integer. If a is any integer, then a minus 0 is equal to a. For example, if 0 is subtracted from minus 2, we will get the same integer that is minus 2. So this property is known as the property of 0 of subtraction of integers. Property of 1 of addition. When 1 is added to any integer, we get its successor. a plus 1 gives the successor of a. For example, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and 4 is the successor of 3. This property is known as the property of 1. Property of 1 of subtraction. When we subtract 1 from any given integer, we get its predecessor. a minus 1 gives the predecessor of a. For example, minus 5 minus 1 is equal to minus 6. As we know, Minus minus is plus but the sign of minus. Here minus 6 is the predecessor of minus 5. This property is known as the property of 1. Additive inverse. When an integer is added to its opposite, the result becomes 0. If a is an integer and minus a is its opposite, then a plus minus a is equal to 0 is equal to minus a plus a. For example, 4 plus minus 4 is equal to 0. Thus, an integer and its opposite are called the additive inverse of each other. Thank you for watching.